a station is built in the Layout Builder toolbox. To add a station component, open the component library in the top left menu. This component is added by dragging it to the main screen. To begin with, you will need a floor to which you can refer. It's good practice to place it at zero. If the ball is blue, it means that the manipulator is paired with a specific object. You should pay attention to it. You can also do this by clicking on the manipulator ball and entering the desired values in the window that appears. Then other components can be added. To connect them together, you need to drag one object to another. In case of the welding torch and the robot, this can be done immediately as adapters are created in these resources, which make the connection possible. To break the connection, simply drag one component away from the other. The floor doesn't have such adapters, so you have to create them. To create adapters, you need to change the toolbox to resource builder. By default, the first option is Enable, where you have to select the resource for which the adapter will be created. Select the floor and in the menu click on the fourth icon from the top, i.e. Creates Adapters. Right click and select the Manipulator icon located in the middle. Move it to the floor area and confirm with the left mouse button. The manipulator can be moved but note that it's now in the floor plane and moving it along the z-axis will detach it from this plane. To create an adapter from a parent manipulator, right-click on the ball and the puzzle piece options create new adapter. Four options are displayed. K-Virtual offers a choice of two types of adapter, mechanical and electrical. Mechanical adapters are responsible for the position, orientation, and kinematics. Electrical adapters are responsible for the dependencies involved in the transmission of signals, variables, and positions. The controller is always the parent in these connections. Each of these connections has a parent and child. This determines what is connected in relation to what. The floor will be a mechanical and parent adapter, so click on Create new mechanical parent adapter. Returning to the layout builder mode, you can drag the selected object and connect it to the created adapter. To edit the adapter, go back to Resource Builder toolbox, select the resource for which the adapter was created and click on Create adapter. You can change the type of adapter by right-clicking on it. To move the adapter, right-click and select Move. Please note that when the parent adapter is moved, the child adapter is also moved. However, you can move the child adapters relative to the parent adapters without breaking the connection. This has to be done in Layout Builder by operating the manipulator.